what's happening in my ancestral homeland of New York. And uh, whenever I'm up in the city, I like to go to Central Park and hang out at Turtle Pond. And that's what we're doing today on today's Army Channel. I got Crocodile Kyle hanging out guess. too. And uh, you know, what's interesting about this is uh, over the years, whenever I'm in the city, I like to come over here and check out the turtles. And there's actually a few different species. And the ones that we're looking at today don't belong in New York City. Uh, it's a melting pot not only for people but for animals as well and as you can imagine most of the guys in here are from the pet trade. So the most numerous species you're seeing right now are the red-eared slider turtle which are actually just from a few drainages of the Ohio River uh, but because of the pet trade they're on every single continent except of Antarctica, except Antarctica rather. And uh, also we got another species right here, some type of cooter that I can't actually identify what species it is, but it's certainly one that can take cold temps and hibernate. Because as you can imagine here in New York, they got some pretty brutal winters. Uh, not only that, we got a largemouth bass cruising around. Kyle ID'd that one for me. I'm not the fish guy, but I sound like I know I'm talking about. Is that an old uh, red ear? That's an old red ear. You can see some of the younger red ears, they still have their colors, but right over here, you can see as they get older, they get more melanistic, so they start losing their color. Um, but as you can imagine, you know, so many of these animals are sold in Chinatown uh, as little pets you can buy for a few bucks. People get them, they raise them up, and they start getting big, as you can imagine. Not a lot of space in the city, so people grow tired of them and come on down to Central Park. In fact, this is the turtle pond, but every pond in Central Park has thousands of red-eared slider turtles floating around in it. So it's, um, on one hand, I'm pretty excited to come see turtles. On the other hand, it is not uh, a good thing because originally there were uh, eastern painted turtles in here, but because the red ears are so aggressive, uh, they have chased out the native species of turtles. Uh, there are, uh, we also saw, I don't know if you can see it, but we saw a yellow-bellied slider as well. So there's a few different species, three species just at this dock alone. But in reality, we're only supposed to have the uh, eastern painted turtle and some snapping turtles. Now, snappers are still prevalent in the ponds around Central Park, so that's kind of cool. But uh, you're hard pressed to find any uh, eastern painted turtles any longer. Mostly, you're going to be seeing some, oh, well, how about this duck coming in for a landing? <laughs> Welcome. Uh, anyhow, you're also going to be seeing a lot of... Um, uh, re there are Reeves turtles. We have reports of Reeves turtles being found here, which are from China. Uh, I have personally seen Chinese softshell turtles in here. Don't know how long they last uh, because, you know, they don't hibernate through uh, really hardcore winter. So there you have it, everybody. A little army channel. This is what we're up to this week. Uh, we're in the Northeast filming a little bit, and I thought it would be fun to see some turtles in New York City. You don't think of turtles running around uh, the city nightlife, but... Uh, they kind of like it here at Turtle Pond. So do I. <laughs>